15 Best Small Towns to Visit In this video, I will show you the 15 best small towns to visit. This video is surely going to help you spend your visit to these towns by checking out these famous landmarks. Let's start the video. You have seen them on the big screen and read about them in fairy tales. Now is the time to explore these wonderful tiny villages in real life. Are you interested in learning more about these towns? If this is the case, you will want to be sure you don't miss anything important. Hallstatt in Austria is the first gorgeous, tiny town you should visit. Hallstatt, Austria, takes the top spot. One of Austria's oldest towns, Hallstatt, was established about 5000 BC to use the mountain's salt deposits. Salinity mining in Hallstatt over thousands of years has resulted in the city's continuing wealth, as seen by the square's ivy-covered structures. Despite its salt mining heritage, the town is also a historical treasure trove and one of Austria's most scenic settings, perched on the Hall's Tata River Bank. One of Europe's prettiest settlements, Hallstatt, can be found in Austria. An Instagrammer's dream, this picturesque hamlet is tucked away between the Alps and the turquoise waters of Lake Hallstatt. At number two on the list is England's Bibri. Bibri, which William Morris once dubbed the most beautiful hamlet in England, has an undeniable appeal. Located in the heart of the Cotswolds, this picturesque town will transport you back in time. Enjoy a cup of tea at a local cafe while strolling through streets lined with stone cottages. Albarracin, Spain, is ranked third. It's a medieval wonderland in the middle of Madrid and Barcelona. Albarracin is an orangey pink cold world fantasy, a tangle of small stone alleys, secret lanes, and beautiful architecture. A trip to this picture-perfect village is like stepping back in time. At number four is the city of Sintra in Portugal. What a treat for the eyes, this gorgeous Portuguese jewel. Of course, the beautiful Pina Palace, Sintra's ancient town, and glittering beaches will transport you into a real-life fantasy. Sintra is a must-see destination that's just a short drive from Lisbon. Urno, Italy, is ranked fifth in the world. This colorful fishing community includes seafood eateries and specialty businesses along the streets. A short boat journey from Venice, Burno, will be the cherry on top of your Italian getaway. Calmar, France, is the sixth stop on the list. This one may seem familiar if you have ever visited a French village. You may be like Belle from Beauty and the Beast. As you stroll through neighborhoods lined with century-old half-timbered buildings along the Germany-France border, you will recognize the area's German architectural influence. This charming village has canals, flower boxes loaded with blooms, and a beautiful town square. In the Netherlands, the city of Githorn is number seven. Venice of the Netherlands is a name given to this water hamlet, known for its serenity and tranquility. Embark on a leisurely boat ride through canals lined with thatched houses, wooden pedestrian bridges, and a veritable rainbow of flowering flora. Number eight on the list is Gruyere, Switzerland. This medieval village has a lot more to offer than cheese. Beyond Switzerland's cheese capital, Gruyris is also a cultural hotspot that offers everything from shopping to museums to fine dining to world-class architecture. It's like stepping back when you visit this 800-year-old hillside village. The nearby Gruyere Pays Den Hout Regional Nature Park, with its stunning mountain vistas and cobblestone streets, is only a short walk away. Dinant, Belgium, is the ninth location. You'll find old world charm, superb cuisine, and caves in this tiny jewel of a town. That's just perfect. Geological marvel Dinant is home to some of Europe's most intriguing caves. Above ground, you will discover stunning river vistas, fantastic dining options, and a charming town center. You will have to visit to find out what lies beyond the surface. Atop a cliff overlooking the Meuse River, Dinant's castle is renowned for its stunning architecture and breathtaking vistas. While visiting the Grotto de Dinant or the Sanctuary of Boring, stop at any of the city's many cafes for a cup of coffee and a look at the stunning scenery. Kochum, Germany, is the 10th most populous town on the list. As a tourist in Rhineland Palatinate, you'll experience the Germany you have always wanted. 
These half-timbered buildings, cozy cafes and restaurants, and old castles along the banks of the Moselle River make this a peaceful riverside town. Portree, Scotland, is located at number 11. Portree is the quaint pastel town on Scotland's magical Isle of Skye. Views of the shimmering water and the neighboring snow-capped mountains may be seen from the port. Visit Somerald Square after a delicious fresh seafood meal at a seaside restaurant. Follow locals as they go to historic inns searching for a local drama and a performance by the bagpipes. Portree, Scotland's most famous town on the Isle of Skye, is one of the country's best kept secrets. Despite its small population, it has a thriving port and cultural district. The port, with its many taverns and seafood restaurants, is the city's center point. From here, you can see the whole bay. As a result of its proximity to some of the area's most beautiful and distinctive sites, it is a great site to base your explorations of this exceptionally picturesque and untamed region. Bled, Slovenia is ranked 12th in the world. This picture-perfect town, perched on the shores of the crystal-clear Lake Bled, offers a splash of color and culture in the natural beauty surrounding it. There are so many adorable cafes and attractive stores that you will have difficulty deciding which is more beautiful. The town itself for the surrounding countryside, Rimi, Norway, at number 13. This picturesque fishing community on Norway's beautiful Lofoten Islands is a must-see. Regarding personality, culture, and aesthetic appeal, Rini is everything but minor. This secluded haven has a charming village atmosphere and an excellent kayaking and biking environment. Those going to Rini in the winter could be lucky enough to witness the northern lights. Most are. Bosnia-Herzegovina is in position 14. In addition to the starry most, a 16th century Ottoman bridge, this historic city offers a different experience for those who go inside it. Enjoy a drink at a riverfront cafe and an excellent Turkish lunch while strolling down cobblestone lanes with colorful Eastern-influenced bazaars. Discovering everything that nature has to offer in and around Mostar's historic city walls is well worth the effort. Stunning waterfalls and breathtaking hiking paths surround the ancient city of Mostar, so it pays to explore. At number 15 is Manarola, Italy. This is one of Italy's most beautiful towns. Several rainbow-colored houses are cut into an impassable stone wall along the Mediterranean shore in Manarola, Italy, one of the Cinque Terre settlements. Antonio Discovolers, an artist who fell in love with Manarola and dedicated most of his later works to the area, has made the town renowned for its wine notably Siakshatra. No traffic lights, no screaming tires, and no blaring horns are to be found in this area. If parking outside the town limits, you will have to take a shuttle bus or walk in alone. This was all from my side to guide you about the 15 best small towns to visit. Please subscribe and press the bell button if you're new to the channel, so you don't miss any new stuff. Comment below if this video was helpful or if you have any concerns regarding traveling ideas.